Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is James Duggan with IGN and I'm here to show you how to upgrade your towers and walls to stone. One of the first things you'll realize is that once you upgrade your tower to this level 2 tower here, you can no longer upgrade it and when I first started playing it was left kind of opaque, you know, do I need to upgrade my town, do I need to have a certain amount of builders, and in fact the answer is you need to find an altar in the wilderness um, and sink a bunch of gold into it. I've purposefully kept my town absolutely minimal. Um, I haven't sunk any gold whatsoever into the center here. I have a single builder. I'm going to show you that I can upgrade this guy to a level 2 tower, but if I were to go any farther than that, well, I can't. Uh, so the way that you go about acquiring stone towers, uh, defenses, which can really help you um, survive some of the waves past 10, is uh, you're going to have to venture out into the wilderness, explore and find this altar specifically. Thankfully, I've already done a little bit of exploring, so I already know where mine is. Um, you'll have to check all around your map. You can run, sometimes it'll spawn on the right, sometimes it'll spawn on the left. But here is that altar. Um, as you can see, it's wood right now. And when I dump some gold into it, it is going to build. And it will emerge as stone. And now I can go back to my town and I can upgrade uh, my walls, my towers, and the towers can upgrade to the point where they can even hold three of my archers, um, and the walls become all but impenetrable um, when they are fully maxed at stone. So I'll show you what that looks like. So straight away, even though this is night five, so it's a little bit risky, I'm going to go ahead and sink a bunch of gold in there. My single builder is going to come over and build a stone wall, as well as a stone tower. And unless we get absolutely ransacked here, um, which is always a possibility in this game, uh, then I should be able to show you guys what those stone towers look like. Uh, keep in mind there are, let's see, there's one, two, three, a total of four um, different tiers for your defenses. At least this is uh, a little bit before release, so maybe when the game comes out there will be more than that, or maybe in a patch after that there will be more. Uh, my archers are heading back into the town because it is nighttime, and this builder is just about to finish this first stone structure here. I am shaking in my space boots because I'm <laughs> really concerned. There we go. I'm really concerned there's going to be a wave of monsters since this is night five. And you can see straight away two my archers jumping in there, um, getting ready to fend off the inevitable wave of monsters. Here it is. Now, something to keep in mind whenever you're building any of your perimeter defenses is that as soon as you decide to hit build here, it's just going to turn into scaffolding. So that's no longer a wall, and as you just saw, monsters can come through um, and wreck everything. So in spite of my base being absolutely ransacked, hopefully I've succeeded in giving you the information you were looking for when it comes to building stone towers and walls. Uh, it is all just about finding that altar in the woods and sinking some gold into it. For all things Kingdom, keep it right here on IGN.